afternoon everybody, it's Brett here, Lionheart84 and I thought I'd just have a quick walk around my guavas and have a look at perhaps brushing some of the flowers with a with a fire, with a paintbrush now this is quite a big paintbrush but there's a good reason for that, they actually get quite a lot of there's actually quite a lot of pollen released off these, I think you can probably see the yellow on the brush and when you've got a lot of flowers to do and transfer pollen over it makes a lot of sense to use a largish brush and try and try and do two or three plants at the same time there's some you can't quite see them but there's flowers down here and you move from flower to flower and try and transfer the pollen around on them <clears throat> now this particular variety is Gemini, which means I can use it to cross pollinate my other ones. Now if we come over to here to the other one, <clears throat> we'll be able to see I've had an issue this year because it's been so cold and wet for the last uh, for the last three or four weeks. Although my pineapple guava has been flowering, and I don't know if you're able to see, but a large quantity of the flowers have gone mouldy before they've opened. Let me have a look at see if we can have a look at these ones here. I never had this issue last year at all. Not used to focus on it unfortunately. There we are. Never had this issue last year. I didn't have any mouldy flowers on my pineapple guava at all. But this year had a lot of mould on the flowers and the, with the lower temperatures I think that's been caused because the flowers as you can see are not opening properly some of them have opened up fully like that one but a large number of them have stayed <coughs> excuse me a large number of them have not opened properly now I don't even know if you can still pollinate them when they're not open but I'm just going to run the brush over a few of them anyway on this plant just to see if we can transfer a bit of uh, pollen but certainly the the cold wet weather we've been having for the last few weeks is not encouraging from a point of view of flower set but I'm trying to transfer a bit of pollen from the Gemini to my other ones I've still got a few flowers on this one here which is Triumph but the flowers seem to have just about finished for the moment But in any case, I thought I'd, there are some more buds coming, so I think they're going to carry on flowering. And it's my unnamed variety that's got the main flowers on it. This produced some round ones last year, but they weren't particularly nice. So I don't think it's a, a good cultivar. I think it's just literally a seedling variety. But uh, in any case, we'll see what happens. Just thought I'd show, uh, it's just simply a case, if you can use a much smaller brush than this, but if you just brush, gently brush the flowers, that will help transfer the pollen around. And you can normally see when the uh, stamens are turning bright yellow, you can actually see the pollen being released on them. I don't know if I can get that to focus or not. Yeah, you can, you can probably see, although that flower hasn't opened, how yellow the anthers are. Is it anthers? Whichever one it is, it has the pollen on. But uh, just thought I'd do a quick video on hand pollinating your pineapple guavas. There's lots of other um, plants that obviously benefit from being hand pollinated because uh, pineapple guavas are one of the ones that don't seem attractive to bees. I think they're um, probably pollinated by uh, certain types of moths and hummingbirds in their native climate. The bees don't seem to be attracted to them. I suspect they can't reach the nectar at the bottom of the flowers but anyway just sort of do a short video for anyone that was interested much appreciate it if you've been watching please like the video i give me a thumbs up share it with anyone you think might be interested um, please remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and of course if you hit the bell you will be notified of new videos and updates as i bring them out catch up with you all soon brett out for now